Welcome, travelers, to another LP that I'm doing. I know there's been a lot of random LPs lately, but I'm just moving around the world, exploring what I want to see, trying out different games, seeing what's fun to play. So I played this demo a while ago, I guess, just when I was playing video games. And it went on summer sale and was lucky enough to get it from a friend. So... I decided to give it a try. Sword of the Stars, The Pit. Now, from what one of my friends told me, Sword of the Stars is actually a game unto itself, and The Pit's kind of like a, a side. It's in the same universe. I don't believe the characters or anything even interconnects, except that it's all just in the same universe and storyline universe, but not really quite sure about that. But it's a roguelite of sorts. I know I've been playing a lot of them, but they're very easy to record and a lot of fun to play. So we're just going to hop right in. All I've really played is the demo and the tutorial. So it will be a learning experience, and I may die a few times. So let's go ahead and start a new game. We will be doing it on normal. Easy is just... You take the fun out of the challenge. While it's hard and insane, unless you're really good at the game, it's going to take the fun out of the challenge. So we'll stick with normal for right now and may move up to hard and insane later. Now, you do have a little backstory. He's a Marine. He married this woman's sister. And that's about everything with those two. And then you have an engineer. The engineer is good at using the tools you can find, repairing stuff, lockpicking, stuff like that. The Marine, he's he's really good at killing things, as most Marines are. And then the Scout, from what I've gathered, is kind of the jack-of-all-trades. She's fairly good at engineering, and she can kill stuff fairly well. So we're going to start with her. Toshikio, to, Toshikio. Tosh. We're going to call her Tosh. Tosh 2.0. Let's go. And we will be using her for the first level. Now, as you see, we have a lot of gray stuff going on around here, or a lot of shadows. That is your line of sight. If it's gray, you can't see it. For all we know, there could be a huge, nasty monster right behind us, and we'd never know. You can hear them, though, so... What is this? An ammo crate. Oh no, I didn't want... No. No, no, no. Pry open the crate. Okay. Don't left click. Left click fires your pistol and now I'm short two bullets. Alright, let's go ahead and open it. Now as you see, as we were opening it, it was taking turns and so this ice bat was able to attack. Ooh, already four of them. Okay. All right, not too bad, we're not dead. Let's pick up the sonic noodles. Whoop, no, no. I don't want to shoot anybody. There we go, got a sonic noodle. Get the shotgun shells, I don't think we have. We have two frag grenades, three stun grenades, a punch, a knife, and an auto pistol. Let's reload. All right, we don't have a lot quite yet. Um. Uh, 78% chance of success. Yeah, go ahead and do it. And we got, ooh, moldy bread. Alright. As you see right now, we have a flak jacket. Nothing's hit us yet, so our durability's still good. And that is a thing. These weapons have durability. As you see, we have 25. Once that's broken, unless we can repair it, we're done. Alright, we have a lockpick set, a small set of digital and analog tools designed to help defeat locking systems. We have medkit, which will heal us, grenades, sonic noodle, a specialized auxiliary voice box that allows a creature to emit a hypersonic signal, which would explain why we got it from a bat. And moldy bread, what was once a delicious bread now is rotting and riddled with mold, eat at your own risk. Alright, we got some food rations, this blue mark right here is actually our food. Uh, if it goes to zero, I'm pretty sure we'll die. And then we got about 90 pistol rounds. Okay. Poison gas trap. Can I... Okay, stop left-clicking. Ow. Fast. Oh. Ow. I think she may die before I, I learn not to press the space bar. Ouch. Am I still be... 
Ah, I'm still being poisoned. Um. Okay, this will. Okay, let's use it. All right. No, still poisoned. Shit. All right. She may be dead before this even. Poison reduced. There we. Holy crap! Reduce to level two. All right. Um. Let's use it again. Still level two poison. This is not good. Poison reduced to level one. Rotten cheese. Alright. This is not a good start to an LP, guys. I might be dead on this first episode. I was hoping to get through, well, longer than six minutes. Come on, the poison needs to deactivate now. I think... Yes, thank you. Okay. And then a rabid bat. And we're out of... Oh, we're out of ammo because... That's just... Dura knife. Alright, let's use our Dura knife. There we go. Reload our pistol. Just in time to kill the bats. Now we're kind of low on health, and I don't... Alright, let's use medical kit one more time. There we go. And as you use stuff, you actually increase your skills with it. Um, Alright, let's level up. So, 70 health. Our armor and our food is... Alright, not doing too bad. Now we can put one point into finesse. One into brains or one into might. Uh, let's increase a little bit into brains. All right now we have eight available skills. Um, what do we want to increase? Let's increase medical. Plus two to medical. Um, definitely increase a little bit to melee just in case. Foraging. Biotech, I will be assuming, has to do with medical stuff, such as there are alien computers that allow you to genetically modify yourself, so we'll hold off on that for right now. We will increase pistols. Um, lock picking. Decipher. All right. I don't know if that's a good combination, but we'll run with it for right now. See if there's anything good in here. Moldy bread again. Damn it. I really kind of want to hold off on using my pistol. These monsters are fairly weak right now. Next. And those bullets, we may not find more bullets until later. And we seem to be killing stuff fairly easy with the blade. Ooh, what do we get? Food pellet. A small nutrition pill that can be used as a food source. Kind of dry, though. Well, let's... Alright, not too bad. Now, we will search all these rot piles for... For a very specific reason. Sometimes we may get rotten food that's completely useless to us, but... As you saw, we do get XP every time we use it. So, it doesn't hurt to just look. And as long as you're fairly certain you're not going to get attacked from behind. Like that. It should be somewhat safe. Right? There we go. Pick up the scent gland. All right, and that is our floor down. So, oh shit, that was a bad idea. Ooh, okay, wasn't that bad? And we did get a food pellet for it. So, the story thus far in this game. We are the last basin of humanity. Or something like that. And there is actually a, ooh, infinity, infinity food? There is a evil virus, evil plague, whatever you want to call it, running around up top. 
So what do we have to do? We're in here looking for the cure. Yes. And we have to get all the way to the bottom of the world, or the bottom of the dungeon, to find it. Okay. Popular brand of super sterilized full course meals that are guaranteed to be edible for 1,000 years. All right, well, we'll keep that. Raw meat of dubious quality. Rotten cheese. Scent gland. And there are programs, maybe not programs. Can we look at the map? Do we have a map? We do have a map. All right, we haven't really explored the left side, so we'll go and take over there. There are computers and machines that will allow you to craft things. I believe weapons or... What the hell? Zul Infant Swarm. Um, you know what? Yeah, I don't know what they do, and I'd rather not trust them. Okay. Already explored those. Achievement unlocked. Inc Ink Royable? You've traveled far enough to walk to the tower of the Eiffel Tower. If they let you, which they don't, they make you pay for an elevator. I'm pretty sure it would be kind of cool to walk up the Empire State Building. And by walk, I mean like scale it with like hook shots and stuff. Alright, another ammo crate. Ammo crate. Ah, damn. That is the one downside. You do have percentages, and sometimes it doesn't work. Man, we're actually... Our foraging skill is actually doing quite well. And I believe we explored... Yep, we have explored everything, and it's now time to head downstairs. Um, where is it? All right, it's still a little bit of ways. Uh, while we're at it, let's eat us a food pellet. Let's eat us two food pellets. Gotta keep full. All right, let's go to the next floor. Scavenger bot. And a Zolpa. All right, shit. Uh, kill him. Kill him. And the scavenger bot's not messing with us, and you know what? We'll let bygones be bygones for right now. And we got Taraka Warbread. Now, uh, there we go. Now, during the tutorial, it walked you through everything. How to use your weapons, how to make stuff, how to heal your stealth. But one of the recipes we learned was sauce switch. Sauce switch. Which requires war bread, which we just picked up, and cooked meat, which we don't have. We do have raw meat, so... Okay, you are fighting me, bastard. Which we don't have quite yet. Um, uh... Now, as you see, they do have points. Our lockpit set has one, two, three... has five sets. We're down to one point for our med kit. You can recharge those but you have to use them strategically booyah long distance shot go back to our knife ow ow yeah these monsters will come at you from everywhere very, very quickly. But we can level up again. Um, let us increase brains again. I'd like to get the 60, 60 brains, if, if, if at all possible. Uh, our foraging is doing fairly well right now. Um, definitely put up our medical again. Um, our melee, we're using that quite a bit. Put up a knife. Now we got two more points. Hmm. I want to use electronics and mechanical. There we go. The electronic and the mechanical are hopefully for machines that we could run into a little bit. Now, another thing that... Whoa. Hey, rabbit bat. You gonna come over here? Ow, ow, ow. 
bastard, are trap doors. A lot of the doors that you can walk through here, just like this, will have traps. Whether positive or negative tends to... Alright, we're lucky here. Tends to be depending on the color. I can't do anything with the bed. Aha! This is something that we needed computer skill for. But we only have a 17% chance of success. And we have nothing to help us here, so... We have not much we can do with that. Right before we leave the floor, we'll see if we can hack it. 70% chance I don't really feel too lucky on. Aha. See? Now, without our lockpicks, we have a 72% chance of opening it. With a lockpick, we have pretty much guaranteed chance. Oop. Let's reload. Bam. Back the knife. knife. You lied to me, buddy. I thought you were my friend. Alright, knife. Okay. So now we have a locker and armor locker. 54% chance. Uh, let's clear out everything. If we level up, we'll try and increase... Ah, space bar. Thank you. All right. Digital assistant. So ingredients. Ah, show equipment. No? All right, we picked up. Ah, this digital expert system gives advice on how to handle other computer systems while add to your computer skill. It only carries a limited charge and requires a recharging from a charging hub. So, in theory, we should be able to come here now. Still a 32% chance is not that good. Yeah, we should be good to unlock it. No worries. Alright, I heard something. Uh, actually, let me show off the frag grenade. Ow. Note to self. Make sure you're not standing within the frag grenade. Always good if you can to clear out everything before. Alright, would I, would I be safe this time? Booyah. What is that? Oh, Zolpup? Mm. I see you. Oof, ruined surveillance system. Fast. Shit. Alright, uh... It may seem like right now the pistol's an automatic one kill, and it is, to a point. But we will very soon start running into creatures that take quite a bit more damage to kill. Alright, take out the rock rat. Alright, I think we're good for right now. Let's pick up the scent gland. Ruined locker, nothing in there. Actually, we're kind of hurting on... Uh, except I think our medic thing is... Where is our... Yeah, it's got one more. So we'll hold off on using that, but we will eat some food. All right, what about our map? All right, that's where we came... No, this isn't where we came in. Where am I? That's where I came in. Okay. Alright. So let's go upwards. Now, as long as there's no monsters nearby, you can run continuously. Moment monsters 
Oh, what do we have? Mutant Rock Rat. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Aha! Uh, let's do it. Come on. Ah, damn. Note to self, anything below 50, uh, anything below 70%, probably not the best idea to use. All right, now we're out of ma out of health. So, if, <laughs> so we really gotta hope we find a recharge station. Ah, uh, now we have our Dura knife is damaged. As you see, we're now down a point, and I believe its accuracy and stuff actually drops as it gets more damaged. I don't see anything here. Let's go ahead and pry that open. Yes, got some more pistol rounds. That's good. Now, the pistol can do the same thing as the knife. It will break down. So that's why I'm trying to use both of them. Pistol round. Ooh, recharge hub. Uh, repair hub. Ah, oh, 27%. That is not a lot. I think we'll be good opening that. Is that everything? Okay, no, we haven't gone to the left yet. So let's head that way. Derp, not that way. But yeah, I've only played the demo, and I did not get too far in that. Ooh. Is there anything in here I didn't check? So, it's gonna be kind of interesting to see how far I can get. Mm, let's just go ahead and pick it. Nope. Oh yeah. And it never hurts to pick the locks and stuff. You do have food. Uh, hunger bar, but right now we're actually doing pretty well with food. We've got five... Six food rations. War bread, which we can eat by itself. And I don't think we want to eat the raw meat. But who knows? She may get really hungry at some point. Oh, where'd you come from? Yeah, I believe monsters can respawn in here too. So be careful with that. But I think that's everything. Well, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and try it. Worst comes to worst, it it may blow up on us, actually. Yeah. Alright. Mm. Let's go ahead and give that console a try. Maybe we'll get lucky with 23%. Where is it? Oh, it's one down. Alright. There it is. We use the digital assistant. Uh oh. Uh, let's get out of here. Oh no, nothing came to attack us. Yay, we're free. Let's get out of here. And head on down to floor two as I shoot it. All right, there we go. Next time, guys, we will continue on into subfloor 3 and see what this floor has. Maybe we can find some stuff we can actually access. But until then, guys, safe travels.